So I am having a really difficult time in my life. I forget by Toto was always my favorite song ever. Like, whoa, that's the favorite song. Woo. Uh, but lately I've been questioning myself if Tears for Free, if <laughs> Tears for Fears, Everybody Wants to Rule the World is actually my favorite song. I've been battling with this. I think. I mean, I mean, Africa by Toto definitely wins, but everybody wants to rule the world. It's fucking good. So hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, the first time in English though. Um, I've been meaning to film in English for some time now, but I officially moved to the UK. That's the excuse you need to start filming in English. And here I am in a cheeky get ready with me. I'm not going to do much today, I'm just going to run some errands. I'm so tired because um, I fell asleep at half, half past four and uh, I woke up at nine. Even though I took such a relaxing bath, even though I read before falling asleep, you know, all those rules you have to follow in order to have a nice deep sleep, well, it didn't work. At night, I was wide awake and I was like, okay, Marisa, this is the chance for you to get back to the YouTube, to the YouTube, and just to start filming something. So why not to get ready with me, which is something I never did here. Um, a disclaimer, Excuse my English accent. Um, I have a very... I'm Portuguese. My English accent is quite weird because I sound like a... like a woman, like an old English woman drinking tea, you know? Uh, this is not tea, this is just coffee, okay? This is just coffee. Anyway, I feel like an English woman in her 70s. Drinking tea and talking about me Marple and Poirot, you know? But I do have a little bit of, also, Scottish accent that you might notice. It's not something that I force. My accent comes naturally like this. Sometimes I will sound super American. Just, just, just don't pay attention to that. Anyway, this is just a get ready with me. I'm going to show my today, you know, basic um, makeup. And I will show my outfit and then I will go just do some stuff that I should have done some time ago hmm. but I've been just lounging around all right so yesterday I had a long long bath and I'm all wash washed and my eyebrows are a mess but that's one of the reasons why I am going out I'm going to do my eyebrows as well anyway I always begin by applying a moisturizer um, or a primer of some sort or you know a oil a dry oil so since I'm not going to do anything specific anything that demands a long lasting makeup I'm just going to use my fancy handy hmm, pineapple this is Korean you know I trust Koreans when it comes to beauty. They do know what they're doing. They always look beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to apply just a little bit of this moisturizer that I'm still testing because I got it, I don't know, a couple of months ago, but I still haven't got the chance to test it. My face is all moisty and moisty, all moisty and nice. I think I'm going to use something. No, I'm not. Forget about that. I'm not going to use any primer, I'm not going to use any of that. I'm just going to apply a little bit of foundation directly on my face. Mm -hmm. The foundation I'm going to use is nothing out of the world, but it's so good at the same time. It's a quite cheap foundation. I got this on sale at Boots and it was my color. Hmm. I was like, huh. There was like a couple of foundations there. And one of those foundations were this one, was this one by um, L'Oreal. This is the infallible 24 hour math. I'm just going to apply it directly on the face, really. Uh, and let's see how it goes. Mm. Mm. 
I think this is a nice amount. Now I'm going to use my beauty, fake beauty blender from Home Bargains. It works. This mirror is so dirty. And it just tap, tap, tap. I am no makeup artist whatsoever. And you are probably already noticing. I just pretend I know what I'm doing. And that's that's life, you know. You just pretend. You go on about life pretending you know what you're doing. And you'll be fine. As long as you pretend what you know what you're doing. So tap, 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 tap all over the face. It will go like this. Hmm. Now I will just to some create some depth to my eyes and uh, uh, what is my where are my brushes? Where are my brushes? Brush, brush. Alright, this one will do. I'm going to just you know use these Anastasia Beverly Hills blush trio. I would really like to use my blush and bronzer on my eyes, you know, when I just want to go smooth and all. I just put a little bit of the bronzer on my eyes. I'm going to use this color away from the blush trio uh, by Anastasia Beverly Hills and the color is Vegas and I'll just try to pretend I know what I'm doing once again. I think it's quite nice this color. I'm already making a mess. Hmm. Interesting Marisa. How can you be so bad? A little bit on the underlash as well. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I quite like it. It looks like I was punched in the face, but that's a look nowadays, isn't it? These eyebrows are... F <laughs> so I've always been a girl that uses eyeliner. But for the past months I haven't been using that often. My boyfriend has this theory that I only wear eyeliner when I'm feeling sassy. When I'm feeling good about life. I don't think it's true. I think I just grew over a little bit out of eyeliner, you know. Because I don't know how to apply eyeliner properly. So it always looks like I have an eye bigger than the other one. So eyeshadow can be a little bit more forgiving. I reckon. I don't know why, but I always have a little bit more difficulty. Uh, with this eye than the other one. And the bangs, you use the bangs, you put a little bit of mascara and everything's fine. Just pretend you know what you're doing and and that will do, that will do, definitely. I'm going to use my one of my favorite um, concealers, both are finishing, so that's not a good sign. Uh, this is the Fit Me by Maybelline. Just eyes those bags because my bags aren't even Chanel. I'll also put this bad boy uh, on my chin and uh, whatever I feel like I need an extra uh, layer to hide you know, the blemishes and stuff because I am a 28 year old that still suffers with signs of puberty. The mascara I've been using right now is one of my favorite mascaras in a really long time, which is this YSL I'm the Clash. This is the Vinyl Couture uh, mascara, which is really, really great. I've been wearing makeup, like mascaras from Maybelline and L'Oreal for a really long time, but I found this one and uh, it was love at first sight that's not mm. sounds like a little bit of a pun but it's not trust me or is it today there's the new AHHS American Horror Story episode for me to see I'm so excited I'm at that point where season uh, uh, apocalypse where they are going back to the murder house and I'm so crazy about that uh, I'm not going to spoil anything probably already 
spoil something for those who haven't watched it yet? Well, you know this, this season is about a little bit of a merge between Coven, which is my favorite season of American Horror Story, and um, uh, the first season, Murder House. So they are just all hanging out, like it's no big deal. And we're going to see Tate. Oh my god, we're going to see Tate. I'm so crazy about that. Tate has been one of my favorite, favorite characters since, you know, since the beginning. Like everybody, like every basic bitch. Every basic bitch is obsessed over Tate. We don't know why. Uh, I think all of us are a bit obsessed with the idea of a crazy psychotic guy. Now, what, what am I going to do is just, you know, try to tame a little bit my eyebrows. So, I'm using this thing, which is the Rimmel Gimme Brow, something like that. You know the Rimmel Brow thingy? I just add a little bit of texture to my eyebrows. I, I don't do anything crazy, just so they don't look, you know, completely awful oh my god i'll just hide it with my bangs <laughs> this is a stay match um by rimmel another basic one i got this a super drug uh when i was living in perth in scotland because i really needed um a um, a powder that wasn't ivory because I gained a little bit of a tan there. And this one is the Peach Glow, where I, would, I really like. I think it makes my skin look very velvety and nice. I feel I'm in the mood of using this Sephora one. This is the Sun Disc. Um, this is limited edition, so I don't know if it's still available out there. This is, I broke it, <laughs> but uh, I love this one. This is like nice peach and brown color so it just does the job you know for bronzer and blush all at the same time without having to worry so I'll just you know just do a little bit of color this is a very natural kind of look very girl next door uh, with no crazy eyeliner, no crazy red lipstick, but I'm feeling that vibe. I'm feeling the vibe of not using, you know, red lipstick and eyeliner. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm just feeling the more like natural kind of look lately. Now I was wondering if I should use a nude, you know, lippy. This one is Anastasia Beverly Hills Hashton. But uh, I don't think I'm going to do lipstick today. I'm just going to use a little bit of Vaseline. This one's the Lip Therapy in Cocoa Butter. And I love this smell so much. This is so good. This is one of those really cheap products that do wonders. I really like this Cocoa Butter one. It's my favorite one. It's my favorite one, but I haven't tried them all. That's how I rule. I think this is a really natural look to head into town. I'm not doing much today, I'm just running some amber errands. But I think I look quite fresh. I don't know if I'm going to wear my hair down or up. I never use my hair down, but I'm feeling it today. I think it's quite beautiful and wavy. I think I'm going to leave it like this today. And I'll be right back to show you my outfit of today. Alright, so this is what I'll be wearing today. This is a very Marisa 2010 kind of outfit. Okay, makeup wise you already know I'm very minimal, I'm going very subtle uh, and my hair is down which trust me it is such a new thing for me to do. I always wear my hair in a big ponytail. I'm using my everyday necklace. This is my Aquarius necklace. I'm wearing this lovely top with the art which is very <laughs> it's very in your face uh, copy of Comme des Garçons but 
I cannot afford Comme des Garçons, so Comme de H&M will do. So this leather jacket, fake leather jacket I'd say, it's from Primark, because why not? I'm using this very cute round bag, you know, that still has nothing inside it. I'm still going to put um, my wallet and stuff here. I don't know where this is from. Uh, I really don't know. This was my mom's, my mom's gift for me one day. She just got home with a plastic bag and she was like, there you go, that's yours. This is a really nice skirt. This is from, guess what? Just guess it. Hmm? Not, not Primark. This skirt is from Lidl. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's something I would ha wear in 2010, but now I'm just trying to embrace my own style and try to be a little bit more forgiving when it comes to trends. You know, I mean, not everybody can wear linen clothes and pencil skirts and oversized jumper. Not everybody can pull off Kardashian either, so I'll just go with something that I feel comfortable in. And I have these lovely boots. I really like these boots. You have no idea how obsessed I am over these boots. These ones are Primark. There you go. There you go for your very low cost outfit. Okay, so there you have it. This is all for today. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the all those buttons, you know, and uh, I'll leave my social media on the box below and also the links to everything that I used. So I'll see you guys later.